Hey guys, Keon here, and today I'm going to be talking about Mossoft, explaining what is Mossoft and why a lot of people like it. So let's just jump into it. Step into the shopping center of the future, a world filled with exciting ideas. The 21st century is here today. Imagine more than 50 shops and restaurants on five different levels. Casual elegance in a breathtaking atmosphere. The shopping gallery in the Bonaventure Hotel is the new downtown Los Angeles. An experience you'll never forget. Why run all over town? Get all your Christmas gifts at Scarborough Town Center. Toys. Appliances for everyone. And fabulous footwear. Great fashion. Cameras. And more. With over 200 stores open till 10 every night. You can get it all together at Scarborough Town Center this Christmas. So what exactly is Mossoft? Well, to answer this question, Mossoft is derived from Vaporwave and is one of Vaporwave's many subgenres. Mossoft is very vague, very ambiguous, and ethereal because of its loop tracks of mom music that you're meant to not listen to, but to enjoy your time with while you do another activity. Mossoft isn't supposed to be catchy, but for the listener to listen to it and pop back in their memories a few days or weeks later to listen to Mossoft again, you can tell when Mossoft is playing because it's very distinct and familiar to the ear. Me personally, the music is hella dystopian and really nostalgic. Mossoft makes you feel like you're going through an empty mall filled with a lot of stores that are open and ready for business. Due to Mossoft being so catchy, you tend to remember it on later dates due to its intoxicating repetition of its music. Mossoft is supposed to be a play on your sensitivity and attention span since the genre is so mysterious yet linear. Most of the time, Mossoft is good to listen to while you're doing something else. I'd say the music is kind of like elevator music. When you go up the elevator and the music plays, you chill while it plays and you go on your way to do something else and it's almost the same feeling. But the difference between Mossoft and elevator music is not only the genre but also the aesthetic. Mossoft is all about the mall and the smells and sounds of the mall on an aesthetic day. You'll tend to hear a lot of those types of sounds in the music as well. Mossoft itself is like a parody of itself. It gives this concept of an endless loop in itself which makes it almost spooky. It gives this ambient commentary on consumer culture which fits well into the vaporwave scape or spectrum. This genre is also pretty cool because it's atmospheric mall music that projects you into a different realm of reality that experiments with its own boundaries and focuses on techniques that sends you to a different aesthetic place. Some cool things about Mossoft is that one of its attributes is that it invoked nostalgia from the mall scenes in the 80s all the way towards the early 2000s, and that most producers are pretty young being from more recent times and capturing the essence of an older generation they haven't been born in. Let's talk about some notable Mossoft tracks and albums. When I think Mossoft, the first person I think about is Cat System Corp's album Palm Mall. This album is amazing because it's the primer of Mossoft. This ambient style nature of the track will send you to a vast world of nothing but malls that are long past gone and forgotten. The album hits you with some interesting album art that will hopefully cast you on towards your adventure through these mall filled lands. This album not only looks somewhat dystopian, but also is an album perfect for shopping endlessly through penny-filled mountains and oversized plants and kiosks. It makes you nostalgic of when you were a little kid and you're going through the mall yourself, back then with your mom or dad or even yourself. You can hear the sounds of the food court, people buying and hanging out, the sounds of the arcades and movies, just a very busy area, and that's the kind of feeling I get when listening to this album and it's amazing. The second album that pops into my mind when I talk about Mossoft is Sconchus' album Hologram Plaza. 
Hologram Plaza is personally one of my favorite conceptual mall soft albums of all time. It hits you with the surreal feeling of reality twisting through generations. The beginning is a little slow, but when it picks up, you start feeling for the music. I got the feeling of happiness and drowsiness when I hear some of these tracks, and it puts you in a dreamlike state and makes you feel so alone. The first track you hear from the album is Elevator Up, and honestly, I love this first track because it feels like you're in a laundromat doing laundry, and it gives you the sense of hyper-reality, and after the track is finished, you get whisked away to the second track, Entry Through the Lobby, where it feels more 80s with this upbeat tempo flow and constant looping rhythm that just fades away into the distance. And I highly recommend giving this album and some of the songs a listen to. The third album I want to share is Yes We're Open by Groceries. This album is notable in its own way because it mixes the shopping mall and groceries aesthetic and mixes it with Mall Soft. You hear in this album Mall Soft at its core mixed with slight supermarket sounds creating such a mix that it influences your thoughts and emotions. I wouldn't say it's my favorite album, but I do have to recognize it for being somewhat spectacular in its own right. I love the vibrant and cheerful sounds as if I'm watching an old kitchen commercial mixed with very subtle yet distinctive chimes and sounds from Mall Soft making this album really enjoyable and fun. Let's talk about the type of art you commonly see in this wave. From what I found searching the web, most of the malls vary in color and design. Sometimes they're bleak or flat in color, or they'll be faded neon with bright pinks and blues. It all depends on what you're seeing. We tend to see a lot of photography either of newer malls or older ones, and sometimes they'll have kanji or other vaporwave-esque objects or filters as well. I think it's pretty cool looking at these pictures or art because it just captures the aesthetic perfectly. It just makes you sit there for a moment wondering about the mall or the location or where you're at. It gives room for the imagination while allowing the viewer to enjoy the piece. It's one of my favorite forms of conceptual art. Besides that, we also get to see rendered 3D malls as well as giving you that sense of the future at a crossroads with cyberspace. On the other end of mall soft spectrum, we'll see a lot more grocery outlets and outlet stores. This side of mall soft is super aesthetic and features a lot of pieces with vaporwave-esque filters and objects over grocery store photography or pieces. Overall, the aesthetic is really good and it has some interesting albums and artists. I love the music that are super catchy and I love the visual side of the wave. And that's pretty much all there is to Mall Soft. And if you like this video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And if you have any ideas on what kind of content I should do next, let me know down in the comments. And also let me know what you think of the video. This is Keon signing out.